I love pasta. Unfortunately, like most Americans, when I have pasta, I have pasta. I mean, I have a lot of pasta. Not thinking that I'm having like four servings of pasta, as opposed to having a petite serving that is one appropriate sized serving. So instead, I just tend to not eat pasta, honestly, because I don't want to have that many carbs. So I look for alternatives to pasta that I can still treat like it, and one is spaghetti squash, and it is a squash. Um, you poke it with a fork all around, you put it in the microwave for three minutes, rotate it, three minutes, rotate it. Do it until you've hit 15 minutes, and then you cut it in half, and you have spaghetti squash, and it literally comes out like strands of spaghetti. That's just naturally what it looks like. Then you treat it like spaghetti. You can put, I put meatballs and spaghetti um, sauce and, and you know, how it butter, low fat butter, of course, and salt and pepper and Parmesan cheese or whatever you want. But it's a great alternative and you're getting veggies and it's only about 40 calories per cup. So you can eat a lot of this and you're not ingesting that many calories, except, I mean, of course, you need to be careful what you're putting on it. Another spaghetti alternative that I love is um, made of tofu, <laughs> and it is Hungry Girl approved, um, and I love Hungry Girl. I do. So this is tofu shirataki, and it is per container, which is actually two servings per container. So per container is 40 calories, uh, six carbs, and one gram of fat. That's it. It's water, and it's like like ramen, like top ramen almost, but without the carbs and the calories and the sodium and all of that insanity. So you just cut it, pour out the water, rinse it, drain it, and then you're ready to treat it like pasta. And either you can just put it into a pot or in the microwave with water, you just want to heat it up, and then treat it however you want. I love creamy toppings. I love Alfredos. So I'm actually making a, a curry style Alfredo, but again, I'm doing it low fat and low calorie because I don't want to just, you know, have this insane meal that's going to fill me up and just, oh. So instead, I'm doing it a different way. So what I have here is first I took this fat-free half and half. It's only 20 calories, uh, three carbs and one gram of protein, so that's good, um, for two tablespoons. So you don't have to, it's not just for your coffee, you know. You can do, you can make a vodka sauce you know, with tomato sauce and then a little bit of fat-free half and half. Um, so I just put it in the pan, uh, the hot pan. I put a couple of tablespoons to get it to heat up a little bit. Then, because I love sriracha, I just added a, about a half tablespoon of sriracha to add that spice and that oomph and hot, hot sauce like sriracha, which is a chili, um, a chili sauce. It's one teaspoon is five calories, um, one carb and 100 milligrams of sodium. And it helps to increase your metabolism, you know, rev it up, fire it up, that when you feel that hot spice, you're also feeling that hot spice inside your body. So it's burning more calories naturally. So about half a tablespoon of sriracha. And then curry. You know, I love curry. You don't have to be afraid of curry. It's, it's just, just because you don't know how to cook Indian food. Well, just get this curry. This is from Teeny Tiny Spice Company of Vermont. And it is made with um, turmeric, coriander, brown mustard, ginger, black pepper, cardamom, cumin, cayenne, clove, garlic, maple sugar, and uh, Himalayan pink salt. And I just took about a half tablespoon of this too, and I just mix that around and reduced it a little bit um, because you want to just make the flavors marry and um, and bring them together. You're not going to need extra salt because you have the salt in the sriracha. And then I added just a little bit of Parmesan cheese um, because Parmesan, unlike other moist cheeses, Parm is a hard cheese, which means that it has a little bit less fat naturally because the fat has been taken out with the, the moisture. 
and it's still this really beautiful flavor. But don't use cheese as, you know, a main ingredient. Use it as a condiment. You know, you don't use a huge amount of ketchup. Well, don't use a huge amount of cheese. Use it to just pull out that extra flavor and give it that beautiful nuttiness. Mm. So, I let it reduce, and then I just, after I rinsed and, or I, I cut open, rinsed out the pasta, I put it directly in here, and I let it sit and simmer so that it soaks up the flavor. And now, this is a, the full bag, is this beautiful curry pasta. So, let's see how much it turns out to be. And you'll see why that one bag is really one serving as opposed to two, but that's okay. If they want to say that it's two servings, they can, they can do that. It's only 40 calories total, so not that big of a deal. Okay, so we have, this is like the perfect snack. So good. All right. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? Oh, and it looks just, doesn't it look just like ramen? I know, amazing. This was, uh, this was like the find of the week last week when I found this at the grocery store. And obviously other people have found this before, but it made me so happy. So, let's see how it is. Mmm. Sorry, my hair was in. Um, amazing. The curry, the depth of flavor, oh, so good. It's a little bit more of a crunch. You can feel it. It doesn't just smush down like pasta, like a normal wheat pasta or flour pasta would, but so tasty. So that is your Quickie in the Kitchen today.